I'm amazed I didn't get that spoiled. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 8 of season 2 of Stranger Things, and it started off with a bummer. I'm honestly amazed I did not see any spoilers for this at all, but, but Samwise Gamgee is down. Bob gets mauled to death by Demogorgon dogs. That was sad. Clearly the most overqualified Radio Shack man of all time is able to get down to the basement, restart everything with the computers through basic. He gets back almost, and then literally there's this shot of him and Joyce looking at each other. And right when it cut back to him, I was like, he's dead, isn't he? And literally three seconds later, it jumps and eats him. I was really, really sad. A very, very sad, but very emotionally effective scene. Especially the fact it was all in slow-mo, too. The rest of the episode is, again, a very intense, very tight-knit story. There are some cliches, there are some overly silly remark, uh, emotional moments, mainly when they're kind of reliving stuff with Will, but it works into an extent how he's able to give them notes with the Morse code. and. We actually figured out why Max's brother is such a monster and an asshole. Because his father is an evil monster. And I liked how that worked. I, everything about this episode was pretty good. Like I said, there was just a few cliches. I was able to call out about four or five things before they happened. But aside from that, the episode was still really engaging. It was still a very emotional episode, obviously, with how it starts. Here's the thing now, though. I'm really into this show. I'm into this show as much as I was throughout the entirety of the first season. Admittedly, the first two episodes of the first season weren't, like, fantastic. They were cool. But the show still kept you engaged. It kept you drawn in. And the fact that only eight episodes worked. This one, just, the buildup has been so long. And it, the payoff has been decent. I'm really, really enjoying it now. But admittedly, I feel that there was still a little bit too much padding between, before this. But otherwise, this episode was still really good. Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 7. I enjoyed it, despite the cliches and the predictability, and I am very much, much excited to watch the final episode of Season 2. I didn't think I would uh, zip through this really quickly, but otherwise... Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I'm just going to do another shout-out to Victor Lucas, creator and host of Electronic Playground. If you guys ever watched the show when you, as you, when you were a teenager, you probably saw it up here in Canada at one point. Anyways, he's uh, open for sponsorship and whatnot to keep the show going since the Rogers contract ended uh, last year. So if you're interested in that, I got that link coming up. As well as if you guys like this video and you like my reviews, maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.